H-6, Cayuse. Manufacturer, Hughes Helicopters and McDonnell Douglas. Type, Light Observation and Attack Helicopter. Power Plant, one Allison T-63A-5A turboshaft. Principal armament, two 7.62 mm machine guns and two 70 mm rocket pods. Carrying capacity, four armed troops. Maximum cruising speed, 137 miles per hour. When I first saw it, you know, I wasn't necessarily impressed. Uh, I look at it in a, in with a different set of eyes now, with a, with a lot of respect uh, for, for what that aircraft has allowed uh, some very brave people to do with it. The teardrop-shaped OH-6 Cayuse was a small, sturdy helicopter with very low drag. Nicknamed the Flying Egg, it could perform maneuvers that would leave other choppers in a spin. It could fly nap of the earth uh, very fast and very low, and it could just get places that other helicopters could not get and perform observation functions there. More importantly, the Cayuse is really, really quiet and very small. Because of that, you can use it for all sorts of things that bigger, slower, louder helicopters can't do. In early 1968, the Cayuse was sent to Vietnam as a light observation helicopter. Nicknamed the Loach by its pilots, it worked alongside Cobra attack helicopters in what were known as hunter-killer teams. You had to be an extremely brave individual to, to do some of the things that I watched Loach pilots do in Vietnam. The uh, Loach would fly low over the trees trying to draw a ground fire, and the uh, gunship would loiter at altitude. As soon as somebody was foolish enough to fire at the Loach, the Cobra would simply roll in with uh, rocket pods and, and uh, mini guns ablazing and take care of that issue. These missions inevitably put the Cayuse directly in the line of fire, but time and again, the flying egg refused to crack. You can survive anything in it. You know, all the pieces, parts, and all that might fly off if you meet with the wrong bullet in the air, and it may tumble around in that egg-shaped cockpit of it. But you get up, dust yourself off, and walk away. Since Vietnam, the Cayuse has evolved. The latest AH-6 and MH-6 models are mainly used by the Special Forces, and its nickname has changed to the Killer Egg. It's still flying in Mogadishu in 1993. It's still providing command and control systems in Iraq in 2005 because it is such a versatile little airframe for all those small things on the battlefield that need to be done by a versatile, nimble aircraft. But being nimble means that this bird can't carry much weight, losing it marks for versatility. The Cayuse can carry a diversity of weapons, but on that small frame, only a few can be taken on any single flight, reducing its fear factor. Innovation is average, but service length and survivability are excellent, sending the OH-6 to fifth spot.